Hi everybody, my name is Maria Jones and I'm going to give a short reflection on my two study abroad programs I did while at UK. My first one was a four week program through KIIS. It was in Paris, France and I studied cultural tourism and photography. This one was really important to me because it was my first time ever flying. I had never left the country before, obviously had never been to Europe before, and so this is all a little bit overwhelming. It was also the first time I had been away from my family for a prolonged period of time. So that was a lot to take in. Um, I learned about DSLR photography while I was there. I learned about aperture and lighting, and obviously the City of Lights was perfect for that. I also learned about cultural tourism in the sense of how tourism can affect local populations, how it can affect cities, and what over-tourism can do to an area. My second study abroad program was an exchange between the University of Kentucky and the University of Hamburg Applied Sciences, and I studied digital information for five months. That was a whole different ballpark. I was definitely more on my own than I was in France. France was a very structured program. There were students from other universities surrounding Kentucky and other border states, whereas in Hamburg, I was the only person, as far as I knew, at this school who was from Kentucky. Not from the U.S., just from Kentucky. There were several from California and Florida, but I didn't know these students, so I was a lot more on my own than I was before. I studied about international communication systems, I studied web analytics, you know, Google Analytics, Google AdWords, things like that. I went into learning about photo databases, which kind of tied into my program from Paris, so that was a really nice connection. And this was also more of an experience about learning how to be more independent. Again, I had really never had many experiences where I was away from my family for that long. And it, it turned out great, actually. It was definitely intimidating. You know, you're on your own, you're learning the country's way of doing things. If it's not an English-speaking country, or mainly English-speaking country, you got to deal with the language barrier. But if you take it slow and definitely prepare ahead, a few months ahead before you leave, everything will come together. That was where I succeeded the most. I had been planning for both programs months ahead of time, so this didn't really... It, it hit me, but it didn't hit me as hard as it would a student who was just like, I'm just going to go and see what happens. Definitely prepare beforehand, and you're not going to have any trouble at all. I'm not graduating until May 2019, so I would love to talk to students about what education abroad can do for them and what their options are, because there are many of them, and I am excited to find them for you.